So let's talk about Love Actually Love Calculator, developed by Philip Munn. Are you here today? Yeah. So this is a cute little app that you can enter uh, two names and push a button, and it will cal calculate and give you a percentage of, of uh, uh, how well you fit together, or something like that. And, and um, so this is what it could look like if you made it for the BB10. Go back. Here we have like two headings. And I think, in my opinion, you don't only need one heading. And then you have um, a text for um, a little tip or a little instruction about what this is and what it works. And so I've kept that. It's, it's still here. And you have these um, text input fields, which says, enter name one, Harry. Um, and in BB10, we have text input controls that look like this, where you have, you can have, before you've entered anything, you can have like a hint. So it's uh, slanted text that is gray that gives you a hint. If this says, if you can't read it, it says second name. And here I've already entered Harry. Um, and so this is more space efficient to have like uh, uh, different modes. If you haven't entered anything, there's the text that hints you. And as soon as you start typing, that text goes away. That is more um, uh, efficient in space than this solu solution here. And also, I think it looks a bit better. Sir, you have a question. Ah, so the question is, uh, why do we need this double instruction here, enter two names and enter name one? Uh, I have no idea. But maybe he tried it on and people still wouldn't get it. People don't read it instructions. So maybe that's why he felt obliged to include it. I don't know. I'm sure there's a reason for it. Uh, and uh, and I haven't, uh, I've just made these screenshots. I haven't I actually tried this on people. And uh, with uh, all of my designs, when I try them on people, they fail the first time. So I have to remake them. So this is the first iteration before they fail. So I don't know what's wrong with them. Um, but, uh, but they look good. BB10 will also come, the alpha devices you have uh, gotten already or will get today, um, comes with a, with a black theme. And there will al always also be, eventually, a bright theme. And I think you will be able to choose, pick and choose if you want like the bright buttons or the dark buttons. So uh, for your benefit here, I also made uh, a bright theme to see, so you can see the, the difference. And another thing I thought I'd mention is uh, these uh, two uh, UI, sets of UI controls, they are uh, made to look good against a dark gray background, perhaps with some patterns or, or something or with a light uh, gray background. So in a minute. Uh, here is a, a, an or, uh, our pink background. And uh, so what I did, up, I, I put the pink on top. And then n next to the icons and, uh, and buttons, I put the, like a more standard background to make the UI elements look better. So you had a question, sir. So the question is, wouldn't it make sense to tweak the focus color of this, uh, of this UI element since you have like a pink theme up there? Maybe the focus color should be pink. And so the answer is, uh, I don't think you can even tweak these colors. So if you want that, you would have to remake that, uh, that control uh, from scratch. Uh, and if you want to take that effort, go ahead. That would make it look better, uh, I think. Um, and, and would fit nice, more nicely on this screen. But it is more work. And I don't think it's supported uh, uh, so that you can do that easily. Uh, ah, so uh, the gentleman here suggests that if uh, we have like a pink or red color, it would look like something is wrong. So, so that's, uh, that's also an issue. Uh, but uh, once you do user testing, you will discover these things. Um, and. Uh, Yes, but it's always a nice idea to try to reduce the color palette. 
but uh, if you're using the standard controls, at least you know they will look good and people will know how they work. Uh, so the question is, uh, if you haven't filled in the two, uh, two rows here and you press, uh, it makes no sense to push the calculator button. So what should you do? Should you uh, disable it or should you uh, bring a pop-up? Uh, and in my opinion, I think it's, it's never good to, uh, to embarrass the user. Uh, it's better to, so a pop-up that says you did this wrong, uh, you want to avoid that at all costs. You, uh, instead, you, uh, uh, I think the uh, um, muting uh, of the button is a better approach in this case. Because that, before you do something, it tells you you can't do it. <laughs>